I'm Mike Rodell, and this is my contribution for making be best practices for our students here at Yavapai College. Online teaching, wow. You know, how do you connect with students online? I try lots of things, recordings, emails, come see me. Now, well, most of the time they don't. My idea here if I'm going to do this summer is have an online but in-person orientation the first week of classes. Um, this will be something that I will require, but I will also put some contact constructor because who knows, maybe one student is taking this online and they're in Taos, New Mexico, which makes me a little jealous, but at any rate, in other words, connect with the students, record this so the students that can't be there can refer back to it for the eight weeks of our summer session. What I want to do is demonstrate to students how to use Blackboard, how I've set it up. In other words, my manner, instead of them basically kind of doing a uh, hide-and-seek or a snipe hunt on where can I find these assignments on Blackboard. How do the syllabus and Blackboard relate to each other? I try to make a syllabus that relates to Blackboard, but sometimes reading is not as good as actually seeing. Uh, how to contribute, for example, simple things, how to use a discussion board. One of the things I get the first week of class, how the how do heck do I do this? And, it, you know, it seems very simple to us because we do it all the time, but if we have a student that's never done it before, you know, how can we easily teach these people how to do that? How to use the media that we basically put in Blackboard, rather than having just... I don't want a class where they read a book and take a test on each chapter. I want to bring more to it, so I try to use a lot of media. One of the biggest things I see in an online class, frequently asked questions. I get a new one every couple of weeks during the semester. I thought I'd covered it in my initial orientation. I thought I covered it in the syllabus. Mm -mm. Nope, no way. Somebody always finds something that I forgot to write or forgot to say. So I basically one of my practices is, which is one of my best practices, I think, is I have a laundry list that sometimes can only be applied to one class, but sometimes applies to all classes I teach. I think the most important thing is, is to better, best get across, this is my best practice for student success, and I think student success is they actually learn something in their course that they'll take after the eight weeks or the 16 weeks in a regular semester. <clears throat> what are the expectations that you, that you have for them? You know, going beyond the usual learning outcomes, et cetera. That, those are kind of there, it's always stated, et cetera. But how did I get to these learning outcomes? What do I expect from them? But I think what's most important is what do the students expect out of the class? Finding out how they learn, how they want to learn. You can better adapt your course to that. So. Doing it in a one-on-one, -on -one, actually dealing with the students in person when you're teaching online is my idea for better practices, for better student outcomes. Get to know these students. Instead of being this anonymous person for all the, all the whole summer or the whole semester, you get to actually meet them. Now maybe if they're in town or around, they might actually come and see me one-on-one. -on -one. That, is, that is my hope. We'll see what happens.